good morning everybody I'm actually gonna start saying good morning and good afternoon and good evening because I realize that everybody's not watching this at the same time but it's morning for me it is May 24th and um, I didn't get a chance to do a video yesterday but I wanted to come on and do a video today and um, I want to talk to you guys about something. I want to talk to you guys about time. What are you doing with your time? When I think about time, I now look at time as God's currency to me, to you. The time that we have on this earth is like currency. It's like money that God gives to you to spend. Now, you know, a lot of us, you know, we, we, we grew up uh, using our time the way we are told. You know, you go to school, you go to church, you go to activities, whatever activities your parents put you in, you know, so you, you, you spend your time according to what someone else or somebody else in your life, your parent or whoever, tells you to spend it. You know, school, church, activities, sports, dance, I don't know, everything that you guys do within time. But there's a certain place in your life where you become an adult. For some of us, maybe it's after we turn 18. You know, you graduate high school, and now your time, and then some people go to college, but your time, you're now more in control of your time. You're now more in control of what you want to do and how you're going to use your time. And as you get older and older, and you don't have someone else telling you what to do, you decide what you do with your time. Uh, for some of us that work, a nine to five you're at your job from nine to five and then after after five o'clock your time is kind of for you what you're doing now this is the I'm what I'm trying to explain to you guys is the time that we have here is a time that God has allotted to us to one become the best version of ourselves and then two to give that person back to the society in other words discovering who you are and being able to find out what it is that you have to contribute to your world to this world but a lot of us don't realize that because we are not in control of our time you're not in control of your time because you have a job that you have to be at from one nine to five and it probably take you a couple of hours to get there when you get home I'll speak for like moms when you get home you have things to do for your children you have things to do for your husband you have things to do you always have something to do you never really have time to focus on you and the time that you can focus on you you're probably doing something that you shouldn't be doing. Social media, partying, drinking, I don't know. So what I'm trying to say today is this. Be serious about your time. Try to figure out what is it that you're doing with your time. You know, I, I, my goal is to speak to people who are decided who have decided that there is more to life there is more to life and I want that more for me I decided years ago that life has to be more than this you know hustle and bustling not enough of money not enough of time to do the things that you want to want to do to be around the people that you want to be around that this is not the, the life that God, the creator of this universe, designed for us to live. When you're, you're not happy, 
you know, you, you're, you're doing everything that you think you should be doing, but you still don't feel right about you. You know, you start to question, like, is there, is, am I doing something wrong? Like, what's going on? Like, I went to school, I got a good job, I did this and I did that and I did this and I did that. I did everything, but something is not right. And so you start asking yourself those questions. You can't get the answers. And for me, it came with your time. You don't have enough time to do the things that you want because everything that you're doing is what you've been told to do. It's what you've been told to do. You know what I find interesting? When I talk to young people who may want to go to college or may not want to go, I ask them, what do you want to do with your life? I don't know. You don't know? No, I don't know. And then I started asking more and more, and then I started realizing the reason why they don't know is because no one is telling them. They're expecting somebody to tell them what to do. They don't realize they have a choice to do what they want to do because all their lives they've been told what to do. So it's hard for us to decide to do things that we want to do because we've been instructed all our lives. So when the time comes to use your time for yourself, you don't know what to do because you haven't been trained to think for yourself. So we're living in a world where people are waiting for someone to tell them, you can be a writer, you can be a singer, you can be a cook, you can be this, you can be that, whatever it is that you want to be. You're waiting for someone to tell you because all your life you've been told what to do. And so when the time comes to actually do the things that you want to do, you don't know. So you're doing things that you don't want to do. Oh my God, it's, it's crazy. And this is what urges me to get up in the morning to do these recordings because I was that person, you know? And now I can say I use my time the way I want to. I use my time the way I want to. I don't have to ask somebody permission to do these videos. I don't have to. I have my kids, yes, I have my kids at home, my husband's home, so the kids are still sleeping. But I don't have to ask somebody who's going who's gonna to manipulate my emotions. Oh, well, if you take this off, then you can't take such and such day off. I don't have that problem anymore, thank God. So what I'm saying is this. You may be working a 9 to 5 now. You may be doing whatever it is that you're doing. But you're trying to do more for yourself, more for your family. You need to start evaluating what you're doing with your time. What are you doing with your time? Especially the, your leisure time. What are you doing with that? You know, we have 24 hours in the day. If you break that down to eight categories, you have eight hours to work. You have eight hours to sleep. And you have eight hours to do whatever it is that you want to do. What are you doing with that time? What are you doing? I know realistically a lot of us, especially moms, we have a lot of responsibility. But there are also times where we're doing things that are not helpful they're not doing is not producing any fruit in our lives it's not productive at all i remember when i first started social media back in 2009 2008 i got off after a couple of months because i realized it was eating my time up i didn't have a purpose to be there scrolling through you know timelines and all this stuff for no reason I had no reason doing that because it wasn't doing anything for me. But when I got back on it, after I started my business, I was using my time more effectively. Even now, sometimes I catch myself, you know, doing things I'm not supposed to be doing, scrolling through, you know, just spending time scrolling through when I don't have to. But I'm aware of that. And when I catch myself, I stop and say, you shouldn't be doing this, Danny. You could be doing other stuff that's going to, create or produce you know a better life for you and your family so I want you guys to be aware of what you're doing with your time you know find out the things the activities that you're doing that are not helpful and little by little start to eliminate them conversations on the phone 
you know, the outings that you do, whatever they are. I mean, don't get me wrong. Go out, have fun. But every weekend or I don't know, every day, whatever, however you guys do it now. The activities that you find your temporary pleasures in. Are they helping you advance? Are they helping you accomplish? Are they helping you feel better about yourself? Is there a way you can kind of minimize those activities? So today, sit down with yourself and just think through certain things that you're doing that's eating up your time. What can you replace with that? What goals do you have that you can start working towards little by little? Little by little, it's baby steps. Little by little, you can start writing that book. You can start that business idea that you want to develop. I don't know, the music, the recipes, whatever it is that's in your heart that you want to do. You can start doing that if you find the time to do it. All right? So that is a, that's a, my message for you guys today. I hope someone is blessed by this message. I look forward again to speaking to you guys very soon. Have a great day. Bye.